You've always heard that growing after puberty is not possible. Height is completely genetic. While this is partially true, I'll show you ways to hack height growth beyond genetics and puberty. Let's be honest, everyone wants to grow more, vertically. With a lot of research and experimenting on myself, I found ways to truly optimize health and growing taller. Please subscribe so I can improve the quality of the video drastically as I'm not selling any courses. Make sure to watch the whole video and pay attention carefully as I'm not giving you generic information. Bones. They need stress applied on them to be reshaped and thus grow. This can be either mechanical stress or hormonal stress. Let me explain the difference. During puberty, our growth hormone is peaked, and that's why we grow. Now, bodybuilders have more thicker bones than the average person due to the constant stress applied on them from the repeated weightlifting habits. Take a look at the difference in size of arms in professional arm wrestler Devon Larratt. And this is two years now, two years of only training my right hand in homework. I still arm wrestle both, but all my homework is just right hand. See that? You see? It's a little bit longer. It wasn't always like that. This is new. This is due to a scientific process called Wolf's Law. So it is the 19th century. A German anatomist and surgeon stated that bone in a healthy animal will adapt to the loads under which it is placed. If loading on a particular bone increases, the bone will remodel itself over time to become stronger to resist that sort of loading. This is exactly what happened with arm wrestler Devon Larratt, as he stated it was never always, always like, like that. that. We can manipulate this to grow taller. But first, let's talk about how to optimize our hormones for better health and this method to work. Growth hormone. This is one of the most important hormones as its function is growth and also repairing our body. Take a look at what neurologist Andrew Huberman says about growth hormones release. Growth hormone is released every night when you go to sleep and it's released in the early part of sleep during so-called slow wave sleep. So the two conditions that have to be met in order for growth hormone to be secreted regularly for tissue repair, etc., are you need to get into slow wave sleep, the so-called deep sleep, and you need blood insulin and glucose to be relatively low. As we know, growth hormone is released in the first two hours of sleep. To maximize this effect, we must optimize our sleep and blood insulin and glucose levels to be low during sleep. So don't eat two hours before going to sleep to get this result. Block blue light exposure by turning on a filter in your phone or buying blue light blocking glasses three hours prior to sleep. I'll make a complete video on hormones soon. Another way to increase growth hormone is sprints. Warm up, then sprint on top speed for 40, 60 seconds, then rest for two, three minutes. Repeat this two, three times. Studies show that this results in a release of growth hormone. We also need to increase testosterone and IGF-1, also known as insulin, like growth factor 1. It is released in the liver in response to human growth hormone. Ghrelin is a hormone released while fasting, which also increases growth hormone. So fasting from time to time is good for growth hormone levels. There are a few ways to increase these hormones. Sunlight. Sunlight is extremely important and most of us don't get enough. It boosts testosterone and dopamine. That's why we feel good during a sunny day rather than a rainy day. Exercise. Any type of resistance training four to five times a week increases growth hormone and testosterone. Lifting heavy weights six to nine repetitions until failure increases growth hormone and testosterone. In a short period, sleep. It is the most important aspect to grow taller. Melatonin is what determines sleep quality. To maximize this, I suggest you to supplement with magnesium and ashwagandha before sleeping as they decrease cortisol, which leads to better sleep. Optimize your circadian rhythm by looking at the sun in the morning for two minutes after you wake up. Diet. Have a diet with high amounts of protein. Protein promotes the hormone that make you grow. Get good sources of protein like eggs, fish, red meat, poultry, and dairy. 
avoid soy and other estrogenic plant-based protein. Have an overall diet of natural and nutrients-dense foods. Also, for growing taller, you must be relatively lean. If you are obese, you won't grow tall, so get lean and then eat at a slight caloric surplus. Now the best part, mechanical stress. A way that certifies growth after puberty is cycling. Buy a stationary cycling machine and adjust the seat height to place where while you're cycling your legs are getting stretched. Do this for 10 minutes a day and not at a very fast pace. After you feel comfortable with the height, increase the seat by a quarter inch. Keep doing this every week and you'll notice results very fast. This combined with optimized hormone will get you at least three to four inches of height in the first year or less. But one important aspect is, when you do this, you're creating micro fractures in your shin bone, which causes them to grow. So do this cycling habit right before you go to sleep, as standing after doing this applies a gravitational force in the shin, causing it to get thicker and not longer. So do this cycling habit, and some vigorous activity like football or sprinting with ankle weights which causes micro-fractures in your shin, then without standing much, go to sleep with ankle weights and your leg hanging of the bed frame. You might feel a little discomfort at start, but this says that it's working. The ankle weights stretch the bone, and due to Wolf's Law, your bone will grow vertically, and thus you'll grow taller. That's it for the video, guys. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comments and I'll reply with solutions. Make sure to subscribe and like the video.